Nori Matthews has taken up the fight against meningitis B following the death of his 19-year-old son, Kai, last year. He says the B for Kai Foundation was created to bring awareness to the serious and life-threatening illness along with ways to prevent it. His son had just finished his first year at Acadia University when he passed away from the disease. We wanted to try to make his death have some meaning and um, our hope was that this wouldn't happen again and yet here we are sitting talking about an outbreak at Dalhousie. Matthew says university students are at high risk as the disease is spread through activities like sharing food, utensils and through kissing. B for Chi is our platform to raise awareness and to let every parent know that their, their daughter or their son is likely not protected against meningitis B and that once you know about it, you can make a decision to vaccinate if you if you want to. Vaccination clinics have been running on site for students and staff at Dalhousie's Sheriff Hall, where the outbreak has been declared. In a statement, Catherine Brown with Nova Scotia Health says they've had a positive response to the clinics, and at this time, there is no indication of increased risk to the general public or university. Matthew says as it now stands, the MenB vaccine is not part of the province's routine publicly funded vaccine program. He wants to see that change. Demonstrate that Nova Scotia can be the first province in Canada to offer a publicly funded vaccine clinic for healthy students to protect them. Public Health has also confirmed a third case of meningitis in a child in the northern zone, which is not connected to the Dow community. Last month, another Halifax University, St. Mary's, reported a student had died of a suspected case of meningitis. Sky Bright and Blom, Global News, Halifax.